Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 19 of GG Weekly Podcast. Uh, there's a lot going on uh, in the world of gaming today. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, we got the Gamescom thing coming up, we've got DC Fandom to talk about, so ton of, ton of topics for us to discuss today. I am Chris, the real Darth guy. With me, of course, is Justin Baggy Noodle Arms. How you doing today, Justin? I'm going to switch it up this time. Doing fantastic, my friend. How are Ooh, you? Nice. Get a little switch up there. I'm actually yeah, yeah. doing real good. Um, this has been a pretty productive week for me. Um, not only in the real job, but also in a little bit of the world of GG Weekly Podcast and stuff like that. So it's been, uh, it's been a good week for me. You know? Awesome. Yeah, How I noticed uh, we if... have we have what automated tweets now. We have uh, yep. a little layout. We have. Did it always do I... that we're live thing right as right as the time ran out, or is that new? Nope, that's it's always done that. It's um it's part of my little streamerific timer that I created. So like at the end of it, it just Hashtag pops up ad. whatever text. Hashtag ad, right? <laughs> but, uh, streamerific dot yeah. com. Yeah. Yeah, Some yeah tools it's for one streamers. of my. That's right many tools for streamers that i've created so uh yeah i decided to use that on our stream because well nice. why not right but uh yes and we have a website technically i mean it's nothing to be unbelievably happy about but ggweeklypodcast.com now actually has some stuff up there right now it's just kind of a link stop where you know you can get to all of the different podcast services you can get to all of our socials all of that great stuff but the plan is to eventually make it like a real website you know we'll have our happy little faces up there maybe even the the latest youtube video stuff like that you know maybe even a player from podbean since that's our podcast hosting spot you know but uh you know just small strides here and there you can also find us now on facebook and instagram as well so if uh you prefer to follow socially on one of those two platforms you're more than welcome to go over there it'll pretty much be the exact same content that we post to twitter but uh you know we're we're growing slowly 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 so it's cool it's nice to progress a little bit here and there you know i was gonna ask what you were uh we haven't actually talked much about it um what we're thinking about posting on the instagram obviously we need photos right uh so just our logo every time <laughs> <laughs> just right right now pretty much every time we go live it's just our our logo with a, a going live tweet but uh i'd assume things like actually you posted inside um our topics of discussion today you posted the what's this thing the uh one Only... one night live what's this thing? yeah yeah opening night live picture opening so we can post live. things like Games that down. we can post uh like just some of the stuff that we talk about in the episodes and things like that um of course we'll always have our our promo tweets out there that or well i guess they're not called tweets on instagram are they but our little promo videos. Our tweets we, everywhere. We're boomers. We tweet all the places. I just sent a tweet on Instagram or Insta Facebook or what is that thing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, yes, so we'll come up with something pretty decent to post out there. Um, you know, eventually. Yeah, eventually. We're working on it's, it. It's a work in progress like any small, you know, just starting podcast, even though I say just starting, but we're on episode 19. Can you believe 19? that? 19 I episodes mean... in. I feel like I can believe it because I've I've been there for all of them, but I also you have? can't because <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> also can't because yeah I mean that's we're almost at half a year yeah that's pretty good that's really good um so this yeah, officially passed my last podcast attempt by I think we're past it by like eight episodes now so wow. that's a good thing okay yeah we've yeah, had guests I won't on. About We've done a lot of good stuff, so next time is going to be big episode two zero. I know that doesn't sound big, it's, but it's cool for us. Yeah, it is cool know. for us. It's... I don't know what we're going to do for it, but maybe we can come think of something. Right. It's like we should have we should have held our special guest for like the episode twenty or something like that. But yeah, speaking of, uh, if you didn't catch our episode last week, we had a great guest on, Mr. Luke Diamond. He was hanging out we with did. us, and uh, we had a great conversation that week. And of course, it's up there on YouTube and all podcast services and everything out there now. So. Check that one out as well if you have some uh, yeah. more listening that you would like to do. But uh, he's a knowledgeable you... guy. He he knows uh, Twitch music. He's starting to figure out the YouTube stuff. Obviously, pretty decent on social media. I mean, he's been in a band before, so he had yeah some experience there of just kind of getting his his stuff out and to the world. So yeah, he's yeah, a, he's he... a good friend of mine too. Obviously, it was a great conversation, uh, and we talked about so few topics. <laughs> 
but in oh, we such had a list detail. Going into that, we had a list going in that I was like, "This is what we should talk about." When we were done, I think we hit like one of them. Yeah, we, we barely <laughs> we just went hit off topic. Yep, it, but natural conversation like that's better for the podcast. You know, it, it was a good, it was a good talk. So if you haven't seen that one, check it out. Uh, any big plans for you going on in the near future? This next week or so? You follow me on Twitter, you know there is. Um, in the morning, uh, 8 a.m. ish, we're gonna leave and uh, head out on a datecation. I've been calling it. Um, oh, no. in, I like that. In baggy. Yeah. I need to take my wife on a datecation. Date. We can leave the kids at home. They're getting old enough now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just went on a family vacation. That wasn't a datecation, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, we're heading to Maine for uh, just three days, two nights in a hotel. So nothing crazy, but you know, just get out of the house. You know, that, know, do something different. I hate that I have to bring out the one saying that I absolutely hate hearing around these, you know, with everything going on around here, around these oh, crazy yeah. times, you know, any of, pick any of those gross ones. But uh, even just going to a hotel like that is, is an escape because um, me and my wife and my son, we had to go over to Indianapolis for a soccer tryout type thing. And nice. just the one night that we spent out there was just kind of like, this, you know, I miss being able to be out like and about because uh, I was talking to one of my buddies because I, you know, we're moving out of our office space at work now. So officially no one's going back to the office until further notice, which is kind of cool. Um, but I picked up his chair and he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll come by at some point. I'll just text you before I get there. I'm like, I don't even know if it's needed. I'm always home. Just drop by and knock on the door. I'll be yeah. here. Like, trust me. Like I'm not going anywhere. So. But, uh, I will be here, I promise. <laughs> I guarantee. I will. The only thing that might happen is I might have my headphones on and not hear you knock or something like that. But I'm gonna like food shopping. Like that's about it. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even so, <clears throat> the way we've worked it around here is my wife's pretty much the primary errand runner, so it's only one of us going out and about pretty consistently. Um, just because okay. there's no really no need to send all of us out in different times. So. She just kind of does the errands for us, which is awesome for me, but kind of not yeah. awesome for me because I do literally just get kind of stir crazy sometimes. And I'm like, man, I want to go somewhere so bad. You got to get a green screen and just put different c uh, sceneries on it and pretend you're there, maybe. Right. And I'll just have it up and I'll be staring at it like I'm at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Actually, but, I almost yeah, did buy a green to, screen. Uh, Acadia. Oh, okay. Oh, me too, man. Okay. You know um, Acadia? Acadia National Park? Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll yeah, be really I've fun. never been. It's four and a half hours away. I've never been. Baggy has in her childhood, but okay. it should be a good time. Yeah, that'll be a good time. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I don't have any any big plans coming up. Um, I guess I have plans on November thirteenth now, but we'll get into that a little bit later about Call of Duty. But uh, yeah, yeah no, I'm excited for you. September thirteenth. Huh? Yeah, well, it's it's November 13th, so it'll be on a Friday. Okay, That'll be awesome. Um, okay. Remember when I was to toying with the idea with Horizon Zero Dawn of doing a 24-hour stream? Did I tell you that? I'm pretty you sure did, I told yeah. you. Or I might we have... all knew, and we all waited for it, and it didn't and happen. Then, no. And then I got <laughs> depressed because of all the reports of how bad Horizon Zero Dawn was crashing and stuff, so I canceled that. But uh, as you know, I'm a very, very, very big Call of Duty player, pretty much. That's almost all I play. It's like... Your Destiny, I'm Call of Duty, pretty much. Yep. And I'm thinking about maybe reenacting that 24-hour stream attempt on November 13th. Just go from, you know, because I normally... Well, actually, I don't stream on Thursday nights anymore, so that would change. But just start playing it at midnight and just see how long I can I can go. Call of Darth. <laughs> Baggy in the chat says Call of Darth. That's me. Just I should just change all of my assets to Call of Duty stuff, because that's pretty much all I play which is kind of funny. But yeah, today was the big reveal of Blops. I call it Blops because it's Black Ops, so Blops Cold War. Yeah, I heard and, Blops. Uh, it's kind of like slobs. No? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, it was a pretty cool event. I didn't get to play it, even though I probably could have, now that I think about it, just took lunch at that time. But it was an event in Warzone that triggered all of the stuff oh. for it to happen. Okay. So <clears throat> it was kind of interesting. Um, Obviously... It's not really spoilery-ish because it was only available for like a half hour and then there's a couple times it'll be available again that you can play through it. But uh, you drop in just like normal, but you have like this little mission thing and like, I don't know, the, the maps like blacked out for all the different areas and it's, it's kind of strange how 
they did that because you know already know what they are but inside there you have four things that you have to do which is basically just like run over here grab the thing run over there grab the thing run over there grab the thing that's pretty grab much all the it. things right <clears throat> so but the cool part was is like different things were happening in the map so like jets were flying over and and like all kinds of things and then like there was radio chatter going on and like the little previews and stuff like that coming over the screen every once in a while it was kind of neat and then of course once you reach the end of those four goals it just goes straight into the trailer like the screen goes black and then you're just watching a trailer again and it was uh it's pretty cool looking it's uh you know it starts with like vietnam and stuff like that and gets into the events of black black ops one and this is going to be a direct sequel of black ops one so it's kind of neat i'm pretty excited okay. about it so this is going to be a new game, but the same Warzone, right? Is that right? Yeah, so Warzone is supposed to continue on alongside all of Call of Duty's from now until who knows if Call of Duty ever ends, right? It doesn't. And so it's alert. just like other things are just going to change inside the map of Warzone. We don't know if it's going to be a different map. We don't really have a lot of details there, but uh, the one thing that kind of weirds me out is, you know, because we have Infinity Ward now, right? And then you have Treyarch, two distinctly yeah, different turns, students. right? They do. And the interesting thing about it is if you play an Infinity Ward game, the feel is different. Like the movement feels different. Some of the things you can do in the game are just different. And then if you go to a Treyarch, of course, it feels different. And if Warzone's continuing with it, which movement style, like are we going to now have like Infinity Ward style Warzone movement with the normal game being... Treyarch style movement and stuff like I don't know how they're going to really unify those two together very do well. Do they always use the same engine for both? You know they do. Yes. Okay. So, so they could they could do that. They could literally like just throw alternate. in all the movements. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We'll see what happens. I mean, what my hope is, I hope they completely ob obliterate Verdansk, which is the current Warzone map, and we don't even go back there again. I want it to be like a Fortnite situation where they completely change. I actually want it to go farther and they want them to just change the location altogether. Like we just go to a completely different locale. Right. World, and it's different, completely like, brand new. I mean, PUBG kind of, I mean, they kept yeah. the old maps, but you know, they went from, uh, what was it? Like jungly to snow, snow to, to desert. desert. And then like yeah. the woods and mountains one, which is the funny one that you had no buildings in. Yeah. The original <laughs> one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a great video. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty good. Uh, did you put that on your YouTube account? I think, I think that's it's on how my you YouTube, but me. like, yeah, I think it's public on my YouTube. I don't have much on my YouTube. It's like, there's like three videos and that's one of them. So if you're really it's, looking for it, you'll find it. It's a pretty good video um, where you experience the no buildings glitch, but Luke, who was your partner, had all the stuff. He sure did. Yeah, he was, was just flying through walls on his screen and on my screen, awesome. I, I had no walls. So you were just driving around um, in an empty... I don't know, <laughs> map. Field. Like it was just a yeah. field. Yeah, it was weird. Uh so I'm I'm super excited about Call of Duty Black Ops. Um I already pre-ordered it, of course. Because it, it was like one of those things where I know I'm gonna play Call of Duty, so it's not like I'm fearful that I won't get my money's worth out of pre-ordering. It's it's like you with Destiny. Anytime new Destiny content comes out, you're like, well, I'm just gonna get it. Like Collector's Edition every time. You know, let's go. Luckily they don't yep. uh they don't have the collector's editions. They only have the standard and the ultimate, which 59, just like normal for the standard, 89 for the ultimate, which comes, you know, with the season one battle pass, a couple extra things on top of it, of course, you know, pretty standard yep. procedure. Got a little know. more of your money, exactly. Yeah. So how was the trailer? Uh, like, what, the, what was the trailer about? Are you going to give us anything or is it all so, spoilers? Yeah. You can obviously go check it out on YouTube now. So it starts in like Vietnam and, you know, that little teaser thing we had. There's very noisy crickets out there. Hold on, I gotta close that. So it starts in like Vietnam and it's talking about, you know, just war in general and how, you know, remember that teaser where the guy was talking saying like it, they've been trying to, you're at war even though you don't know it because, you know, they're messing with us, I guess I would say for lack of a better term. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's all that dialogue following real gameplay, like real storyline stuff that's happening in the new game. So it's, okay. it's pretty cool. Old school helicopters, you know, uh, you got older guns because it's not um, as up to date. And then also there's going to be mixtures of newer stuff as well, because I don't know if, if you haven't played Black Ops, 
it kind of jumps around in the timeline. I played the first one. Like I actually played the story. Yeah, so it jumps around a little through. bit in in a couple different things. Like you'll you'll be in the main portion of the Black Ops doing current day things. And then like you'll go relive a memory from something that happened in the past and you'll have like old school weapons and stuff like that and just it'll feel different, you know, which is kind of cool. I like that style. Gives you a little bit more gameplay variety instead of run forward and shoot at the horde of things that are coming at you and shooting back. So that's kind of Call <laughs> I of Duty. I think the coolest thing will be seeing what happens with Warzone, though. I agree. Like like you just yeah. said, it's different guns. It's different movements. So yep. Uh, well, we'll maybe see. all your hard work for your guns will go down the drain, right? Well, so there's unconfirmed reports that all the guns that are in Warzone now will stay in Warzone. So like it'll just you'll keep everything that you already have, all your blueprints, all your unlocks, everything. Okay. But and then there's gonna be more. Like there's gonna get to a certain point to you're like there's just too many freaking weapons. There's 300 guns. <laughs> like how many different styles of M16s do we need? Come on, you know it's just. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I just I need hope... reskins of the same guns or whatever. Yeah, I, I hope they, they do something really cool. Um, me being a Call of Duty guy, I was pretty excited when it was happening. But and then the weird thing was, is like the hype level was way up, way up, way up. And then it was just like done. Just over. Well, well yeah, because after it's done, there's now what? Wait till November. That's it, right? Uh, we're supposed to get some more information actually tomorrow. Um, okay in the opening night live activision is going to be there with some more call of duty stuff oh yeah yep. um and then on september 9th there is the worldwide multiplayer reveal as well so the multiplayer reveal is obviously going to go over the mp aspect which is the paid side of cod you know uh because the war zone is the free stuff that everyone will have access to mp will be and campaign will be you know the typical but I'm excited. I don't know. Um, maybe I can convince you to actually play that one at some point. I keep maybe. meaning to. And then, you know, <laughs> I play too many games for one. Um, real quick for our uh, live listeners. Thank you so much for that raid, Anne. Ah, Nine thank viewers you, here hanging out. Welcome Appreciate to the you. show, guys. It's one of my Destiny friends. So thank you so much. I thought I um, recognized. Okay. Yeah. What were we just talking about? Oh, yeah. So I've Plain been playing... Holiday. Fall Guys, Fortnite, Destiny. I I wanted to play Sea of Thieves for the special item that's going away probably today. Who knows? I don't right. even know when. And I never did. And then Call of Duty. And uh, you're usually either kind of like have a squad. And I like I said, I don't know what guns I should be using. I don't know what settings I should have set up on on my game. Right. Like nothing. So we're looking pretty pixely live here, but it's yeah, all good. I'm seeing that too. <laughs> You're um, pixely on yeah. my end too, so it's I don't know, it's Discord being nice to us today. Being real nice, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean Fortnite season ends tomorrow. Um, I think two AM they said there'll be a trailer, which I felt like was a weird time. Maybe I read that wrong. You say Fortnite you... season ends tomorrow? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Today's the last day of the season three. No. It... Is that you right? know what? I, I, I did know that, and you know why I knew that, and I'm remembering now, is because Tomorrow's the day that iOS and, well, some Google users, depending on how they bought it, they can no longer play Fortnite because uh -huh, yeah. you won't get yep. the update anymore because uh, I'm not sure if anyone's paying attention out there, but uh, Apple, Google, and I guess Epic, the people at Fortnite, Epic in general is not really, not really in a fight because they have other games in there, but uh, Epic went ahead and they broke the terms of service technically. For the yep. two app stores that are out there and they tried to go around the payment systems that are that are built in and you know google and apple they want their cut of that money of course just like you know if you buy something on playstation or you buy something on xbox they want their cut there too and uh they got removed so tomorrow all iphone ipad um uh, probably i don't even know I, the list of google I don't things think it's on mac but yeah maybe uh, it is on Mac, Wait, actually, so, so that, I, would, I, that would work. I didn't hear about Google either. Like, so Google's in the fight now, too? Google is in the fight. The only difference in... So Epic is suing Google and Apple. Uh, and the only difference is Android people can still play Fortnite just because there's third-party app stores and, like, other ways for them to get Fortnite on the phone. But they can't get into the actual Google Play Store anymore, and then they can't get in the iOS App Store either. 
and then any gotcha. updates so they can get it like the samsung store or whatever instead or yeah whatever yeah okay. exactly so there's there's still a way for the android people to play fortnite i don't know how account linking and stuff like that works because they're not real you know specific to how how that's going to affect anything if you like change your platform or your store but uh yeah so anyone who has an ipad anyone who plays on an iphone or an ios device or even a mac since you specified mac they they do have it on yeah. there you won't be able to play it anymore uh, because it won't get the update because they're no longer in the app store so it's kind of crazy uh what's even crazier is that uh on ebay right now people are selling phones and, and ipads and things like that that oh have God, Fortnite on them Bird all over again for thousands of dollars but the funny thing is is that it's not going to work you can't sign into the servers because you don't have the latest update and so Fortnite's servers right. are going to kick you out it's not like you can play the game you're like look i have a Fortnite icon and i can click on it and it says unable to connect yeah ten thousand dollars that's so dumb <laughs> Yeah, so but yeah, Flappy Bird had that happen. Uh, PT on PlayStation, which was PT still, um, still it, is it? You can still go and get a PT PlayStation. I'm so mad. I had PT on my PlayStation, played through a ton. I probably deleted it like two weeks before they did that whole thing too. And you're like, oh man, I could have just made a bunch of money on my PlayStation. Crap. Yeah, <laughs> or just had it for fun, and bragged right. about it on on a podcast or something. I don't know. Throw it on Twitch and stream it, and people are like, wait, what? What's happening here? BT playable trailer. <laughs> right. Um, um, it's it's just two yeah, big Apple companies Google. going after each other. So, like, I don't really care about it because I don't care about Fortnite necessarily. I'm sure that if I did care about Fortnite, obviously, I would pay a little bit more attention to it. But it just, it just seems like two unbelievably rich companies squabbling over getting more it's rich. Like, a little like, more money, yeah. Like, come on, guys. Like, just... Um, do do what's better for the the users because you're still making a crap ton of money just let the players play i don't know it seems weird to me and then you know they're doing the free Fortnite movement thing where that you know they're trying oh to god they're doing that's the, that, the, that was way over the top way that over was the too top. much yeah was, i didn't like whatever if you guys want to squabble about money like you said do your thing like it doesn't affect me really you know at the end of the day i just still play the same game still the same money probably i do know yeah. fortnite went a little cheaper with all their v bucks recently yeah so and that's when this battle started that was their movement and that was their push they said that they wanted to reduce the price of v bucks and things but in order to do that on the apple store and on the google store they had to reduce it to the point where they would basically be cutting out apple and google in their which share. makes no sense anyway that like okay so you pay i don't know 10 bucks and get a thousand v bucks right Mm -hmm. what does that cost Fortnite? nothing basically i mean yeah, yeah v bucks are an imaginary game, currency like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly <laughs> and then you get a skin that we all know they pump out a new skin literally like every day yeah They're they've got that process and down. almost all of them have like shin guards they all have the same damn shin guard on one leg it drives me insane <laughs> you know so it's just them taking the the paint bucket tool in photoshop and going change the color change that color <laughs> i mean obviously there's some unique yeah. ones but <laughs> right. but for the most part it's it's not crazy stuff it doesn't affect the gameplay it's nothing and uh like you said they're buying an imaginary currency um i'm a somewhat fortnite player i i own an iphone and a macbook i like yep. apple and i'm on apple's side not because i like apple but just i think i think fortnite just started to get greedy and I think this has so. been the yeah. way Apple's ran forever. I mean, you're using Apple's platform. It'd be like, are they going to stop paying PlayStation some money when people buy stuff on the PlayStation Store? Or that's the exact Xbox thing. Store, so or that's the exact thing that uh, I want to say it was What's Good Games podcast they were talking about, and I really like like that podcast because they're realistic about their expectations. They're not like, oh, Apple's evil and stuff. They're like, wait, Xbox does it. On the Microsoft Store, if you buy V Bucks, they take their cut. PlayStation, if you buy on PlayStation, they take their cut. Why aren't you? Why are you only attacking these two? Wouldn't you, yeah. if you really want to, like, take a stance and be like, "Oh, we got to lower all these these percentages that we're paying to all these storefronts." Wouldn't you do it globally, like universally throughout every single one of them? It's weird, you know. I guess their argument there is that the phone is considered a computer. Computers have like the free market or whatever, right? But like, 
I guess. I don't know. I just think it's silly. Apple uh, Apple spends money to make a good software, right? Yeah. And the good hardware that you're using. And I mean, Apple's known for basically if you download an app off the App Store, you're you feel pretty confident, you feel pretty safe about it. You're yeah. not too worried for the most part. And that's actually they, still Apple's stance as well. They're like, well, right. we, it's a curated store. In right. order to curate something, you need you have to money. go through like and get permission to get your app even on the store. If you want revisions, you have to yep. send them to them or whatever. Our company, I remember, had to do it all the time. And yeah, um, I just think it's crazy that Fortnite thinks Apple deserves zero dollars and zero cents for that. Yeah, that isn't that crazy, especially considering Epic runs a store. Yes, they only take twelve percent of the developers that sell on the on the Epic Game Store, but they're still literally doing the same thing. <laughs> they really are, isn't that? Isn't that? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I didn't think of that part. They have a storefront where they charge developers for things. In hello, like, what? Wouldn't you just drop all your fees to zero then, if that's what you're fighting against? Right. Seems kind of odd. I mean, to I me, guess right? the, I guess if they win this fight, it's good probably for some other, uh, like indie companies that don't make millions like Fortnite, but. I think, but who it, knows? It could be bad for Apple, and in the in the long run, hurt us as a consumer, right? Right. Because let's say, let's say all of a sudden now Apple changes their policies and allows things like this, and now you get the games like Roblox, the fake Roblox games that are now infecting your phones with all this crap, or like subverting systems. Like, uh, for instance, I love the Apple ecosystem for the parental controls. Anytime my kids want to buy something on the app store or in an app, they actually have to ask permission and I have to approve it and type my password and all that stuff for them to be able to buy it. So oh, now so if it's third party, they could if just it's do third whatever they party, want. They could just pop in there and buy whatever they want and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think Apple has to win it, but we'll see. I mean, we, like think... you said, we don't have a lot of skin in the game at the end of the day. It's rich fights, rich. Yeah, and then Apple we just kind of deal. Money, but <laughs> we just deal with whatever the outcome is and go, oh, okay, cool, whatever, I guess. I was reading a lot of Twitter posts of people being like, oh, yeah, Apple's so upset that Fortnite's not on their store now. They might go broke. Like, <laughs> Apple doesn't need Fortnite at all, right? Like, right. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. Apple's like a hundred thousand times the size of Epic, even though Epic's very big. Like, yep. Yeah. It's, it's, like you said, it's just the rich fighting the rich, and we're just like, Okay, the only people that are actually paying a price for this fight are the end users. That's it. Yeah. Like, yeah, they don't okay. need whatever money they spend. So, but yeah, whatever. It's... I mean, like we said, we'll see what happens. We'll probably talk about it when we get results. But I'm, I'm hoping uh, what happens right is now that... it's pretty normal for us, yeah. except unless you want to play Fortnite on your phone, but I don't play on my phone. So, no, no, I'm, I don't even play in general. But when I would play, it would be on a PC for sure, you know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hope maybe they'll lower their fees and then Epic will be like, okay, well, that's acceptable. Whatever. But we'll report back when we hear more later yeah, on will. in updates. <laughs> That'll Meanwhile, be one of those. I'll use my iPhone and play Fortnite and not care at all about what they do. <laughs> right. Whatever. Um, so we didn't hit on this subject with Luke, which is unfortunate, but we wanted to talk about like streaming in general so streaming what you like versus streaming something that's gonna get you viewers um yes. for we kind of both stream what we like we do so obviously we're gonna lean towards that way but you know there's a lot of there's a lot of talk out there especially on like reddit so if you go to the r streaming reddit or our twitch or anywhere in there where people are like don't stream an oversaturated game go find a game that has 500 to a thousand viewers in it and roll with that you try eh, that did get better i had to try it was so blurry yeah um, oh, well it went it went back typical discord know. but yeah anyway but, so what what is your angle do you do you think that people let's talk about new streamers let's not even talk about us necessarily so do you think someone yeah. who's just starting streaming should they play the game that they love and the game that they mm -hmm. want on stream or should they go into a category where they know they can actually experience some growth um i mean i have varying opinions on this because i mean for one it could be one and the same right like their favorite game is 
Marbles on stream. I don't know. Whatever, whatever gets me <laughs> right now. I have stream. no idea. That's their okay, favorite would, game. They, I would, they love I that. Okay. That. <laughs> That's their favorite thing. Well, you know what that is, right? When the streamers type exclamation point play and all the marbles join and then they just fall. You don't do anything else. Oh, you just no. See who I wins. actually, you know what? I actually thought you were talking about the legit game of marbles because oh. there's like an actual <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about the game that, that gets views. Like, okay. at least once you're bigger, like, it seems to help growth a little bit. But okay. anywho, so let's say they that's their favorite thing. And so then they're playing what they like and we get some views. That's possible. Yeah. Um, but I would say the problem with only playing what gets you views, and I, I actually was in a stream this morning of somebody who took like a six month break and he just came back two days ago. Okay. Um, kind of stayed friendly with him this whole time. So I, you know, I, I supported one to pop in and say, Hey, like, welcome back. And, uh, yeah. he was talking about how he was playing a game that he liked. He did like it. It was Zelda breath, uh, breath of the wild. Okay. And he, I remember back then when he did it and he'd get and you know in the 25 ish probably average viewers if i was to guess pretty good i don't know his real statistics but he was doing okay you know he's doing pretty well um and he he said today like that's he was playing it even more after he will like was done with the game just because he knew because he knew that, that was, was getting him the, the viewers, viewers were, were working right yeah and he's a league of legends player that's what he wants to play so now he's playing league of legends which is and, a crazily saturated it's like as saturated as call of duty or destiny really probably I mean, even more actually i think it's even so it's I one actually, of the bigger ones i right? did the numbers on this so i actually have a i can give you some stats not yeah. on league of legends but just because uh destiny the average viewership across the entire platform including partners including zero viewers including everybody there is a six person six viewers per every stream so if you took all the viewers from all the streams and divided and them equally, equally everybody would have six. Oh wow. It's a lot if better. If you took than... all the Yeah, if you took all the viewers in Call of Duty, these are the only this two is, games I checked. This is gonna and hurt. And you divide it by how many people are streaming. How many do you think are in each stream? Oh man. I wanna say two, but I bet you it's like one. It's three. It's three. Is it three? Okay. I can I can deal with three. That's, it was three when I still, checked. I've checked twice and it was three. Yep. So in half. theory, right? If you're both brand new and one of you streams Destiny and one streams Call of Duty, in theory, the guy playing Destiny should always have about double if they're like equally entertaining, okay. equally working yeah, hard. All you know things I mean? all things set to an even keel or that's an, an impossible comparison. comparison. It's not there's two different people at the in the camera. That's what matters the most. But yeah. Just statistically should be easier to in some way get to the double number maybe right mm -hmm. just based on viewer to, to streamer but uh i didn't check legal league of legends i'm sure it's somewhere around the three as well i could check later but yeah so i mean there's plenty of games i mean even six viewers i don't know if there's games i don't know what a good score is i didn't keep digging around i know the casino games are always very high like the ones you spend real money Mm -hmm. but that's just mm -hmm. being, like that's that's a growth game those games you're gonna get viewers because people want to watch you lose or win money yeah they people like to i mean it's it's gambling in a way so you're satisfying that gambling itch but with someone else's you money yeah you don't have to you don't win anything either but <laughs> yeah you get to you get to kind of be there for the gamble yeah um yeah. But yeah, I would say, I, I think I'd say I'd always play what you want to an extent. I mean, if what you want to play, let's say you you want to play an indie game and you go and check and one other dude's already streaming it and he has one viewer, right? Mm -hmm. Unless your friends all want to come watch you play it. Like you're like, you have three friends that are like, oh, I want to watch you play that. I don't really know what you're going to accomplish because chances are you're the most viewers you're gonna get is like the one guy who watches the, the game or maybe the right. guy who streams it and the one guy who's watching him you have two viewers you know i don't know like it doesn't seem I've like actually... you're accomplishing anything so there's been a couple of games that i that i played on let's say i played it on ps4 and then now i got it on pc on a sale and i want to play through it again just you know with the higher frame rates the better graphics all that good stuff you know and i was like maybe this can be a stream game and i go look on how many people are watching and i'm like 23 there's 23 people watching this game right now no across four streams <laughs> right <laughs> like I mean, and then I, i'm just like i guess that's a better average than call of duty if it was only four streams i guess but. technically yes but like obviously they're most likely watching the person that they 
they watched yeah. for that but game. But you're also, you're, you're capped out at that point. It yeah. doesn't mean you can't go there. I mean, I know plenty of people who play oddball games and are like partnered on Twitch. They yeah. can do whatever they want once they build a community. That's true. Yeah. If I guess if it's an oddball if they know game. How to build a community on Twitter, if they know how to build a community on whatever else, right? They can bring their community and play probably anything that kind of fits what everybody knows them for. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, an oddball game, I guess. Let's say you play a game that nobody really knows and they happen to stop in because they're randomly browsing. Let's say you do just chatting and then you transition into your oddball game and people stick around for the for you, the creator. Right. That's kind of cool because then, you know, you're building a community based on you, not necessarily right. the thing you're doing on the stream, whether it be 100%. You know, marbles, as you say, or, you know, Call of Duty yeah. like I do or whatever it's just that's kind of an interesting uh a change which i mean pretty much doesn't everybody kind of do just chatting a little bit in the beginning now like saying hey hey guys welcome to the stream blah 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 we're gonna do this blah 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 i still have at least one stream a week where like you just start up and you just talk about, so i'm just playing my game already um okay i do i do think it's valuable if, if you have anything to talk about just chatting, I've had more random people pop in during just chatting typically than Destiny ever. Yeah. And uh, and some of them stick around. So it's like, you know, I think it's worth it. I think that's the, the, the interesting thing about a just chatting stream is that the people who are going around just chatting don't really know necessarily what they want to talk about or what, what mm -hmm. exactly they want to watch. They want to find someone who engages them and pulls them into the conversation and then makes them want to type in chat. Whereas if yeah. you're, if, if you're like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to watch some call of duty Warzone gameplay. I will literally just go to call of duty. Most of the time I'll end up on Tim's stream just because I follow him and I enjoy his content. But if I'm looking at a smaller creator, I'm just randomly clicking. I'm like, scroll, click. There we go. I don't yeah. like this one out. Scroll. Click. Yeah, you're not going to go to just chatting, looking for a call of duty guy. Cause you know, unless you already know the person, how yeah. do you know what he's going to play next? But right. like you said, it's a good way. It's also a good way to find a ton of trolls, though. Let's be real. If you're in just yeah. chatting. That is true. I have had more trolls in just chatting than I've had ever playing any game. Uh, do you get a lot of trolls? I'm, I'm totally no. changing the subject now. But like I I have to knock on wood while I talk about this because I'm probably mentioning it and then it's going to happen. But, you know, it, generically speaking, I haven't really had a lot of trolls in my streams in general. Now, I've. I've been to plenty others where I'm like, wow, those people are just like digging in deep. Like, why are they being such a jerk to this person? But I don't know if it's, do you think it's just like the general feel of your stream or like, I don't know, your personality maybe that doesn't. So I, I just know. looked, I think I have about 10 banned channels in 30 months of streaming or more actually 30 months of affiliate. So, I mean, no, I obviously don't get a whole lot of, at least yeah. destructive trolls. I still like this week alone, I've gotten two or three people who came in chat, they typed one thing. It wasn't even a big deal. It was just like one thing that didn't make any sense to anything that was going on. And then mm -hmm. I never heard from them again. Yeah. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what they caught. One person I think wrote Twitch sucks, Twitch sucks, Twitch sucks, Twitch sucks. Like 90 like, times with the emotes in between. You, why are you here? And I went, I was like, okay, what do you want me to do about it? And then <laughs> I never heard from them again. They were gone right so I, obviously I like i didn't ban them like they didn't matter but they just never returned some, yeah they're a troll i suppose you know like i think i think i've only banned like three i guess i guess they are called channels but three people ever and it was in one group like it was just all three of them i was playing ghost recon at one point and then they just they were just spamming chat too much to the point where no, no other chat was able to be read okay and i was just like okay you guys are all done whatever Slow mode next time. Slow mode, but <laughs> <laughs> I, no, my my rules literally say trolls. You're insta banned. I don't have time for oh. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's your rules. Your rules, right? It's yeah, your place. I'm like, nope. Get out. <laughs> See ya. Honestly, I think half my bands that I just saw were um the want to become famous bigfollowers.com or whatever. <laughs> right. and like uh, half my bands are those. Every single time those come in, I'm like, hey chat, sorry, I gotta go. I'm about to be famous. Uh, I yeah. just got a message from. And then I'll read the name and, and read the message yeah. and be like, yep, I, sorry guys. First five I'm... times it was funny to use it as content. The next 12 were not funny. It was just, <laughs> I actually blacklisted it from my, uh, like if they write that sentence, it's just, yeah, I don't even just... ever see it. It's gone. Right. Nice. 
Um, I should do and it's that. worked. I haven't seen one since. So very nice. I think they're getting they're cracking down a little bit more. Um, Probably. Do you remember? I don't know. Do, how much YouTube do you watch? Do you watch it quite a bit, or a reasonable amount? Uh, the probably reason I one ask. YouTube a month. Okay, so no. So what do you? Um, so on YouTube for a while, you know that streamupgrade.com or whatever. No. It's basically the same thing. It's you go there okay. and it's like, okay, for four dollars you can get a thousand viewers. For thirty dollars you can get ten thousand. And if you really, and then the, there was even like a last tier that's like custom package. Call us. And I was like, wait, what? call us. I was like, what? call us, and you'll become famous instantly. <laughs> what is this? I should, I should have just called and recorded it as content. That would have been hilarious. But uh, it, it was yeah. just you've been on stream sometime. It was actually it was on before a ton of YouTube videos. So it's like fake streamers. It's got to be fake streamers unless it's just people that got duped into thinking that it was like legit. So it's people giving testimonials about how their stream grew through using the website. <laughs> and I'm, it's like, oh, I, that, I used to stream to zero viewers and now I've got 10,000 followers. And I'm like, wait, viewers and followers are very different there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Now, what are we talking about here? <laughs> wait a minute. You swapped. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. You have 100,000 followers, but one concurrent viewer in every stream. Like, hmm. I That's like those Twitters happened. with the 50k followers and every single post has three likes. Yep. Yeah, like, exactly. I don't, I don't wow, understand the you're mindset doing a great there. job. Yeah. You know, I, I just don't. I mean, it's follow. It's like the follow for follow mindset. An empty follow kind of stinks, you know? It's like, yeah, everyone yeah. appreciates the follows. But for the most part, I guess a follow is kind of a metric about how many people you can hope to see at your stream in a way. But uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you see it all the time. Hey, I'm a new Twitch streamer. If you follow my channel, I'll follow you back. And you're like, N that's not going to work. <laughs> Don't do that. It's funny Please you stop. said the, uh, you hope they come back. Like, so I did a, when I had all those codes for Fall Guys, mm -hmm. I, I put I put my title, Fall Guys Codes, you know, hoping, everyone... you know, some new people would come in. And I, I didn't actually have a lot of traffic, surprisingly. I think it was because I did it the first day and later people were starting to get hyped about it. Mm -hmm. Um, You were, you were. I had, too early on the train, huh? Too early. Two people came in asking for codes, and both of them I said, like I said, I'm gonna ask you a random question, and I did. Like it, you know, it didn't matter at all. It was, it made no matter what they said, and uh, I was like, and don't follow if you're never coming back. And I gave them the code, and they never came back, and they didn't follow. So it yeah. was once again, I didn't, I didn't want to follow that. I just knew they're never, they're never gonna do it. They were there it's for a, a free code, and they left. Yeah, that's. That's actually, it brings up an interesting subject that I see. I always bring up that I see on Reddit, that I see on Reddit, because I, I literally read that That's good. 70 times a day. But I see it on Reddit all the time where someone's like, hey, you know, do you think I should do a giveaway to grow my channel? And like, of course, everyone who's been streaming for a while or creating content for a while is like, no, that is absolutely 100% not going to grow your content. You may get people to pop in that day or, you know, around the, the time you're doing it but isn't that what? discoverability though <laughs> <laughs> i mean no not really not really they got discovered you, you for, know what i'm yeah. saying yeah i do like, it's kind of that you know it's like anything uh empty fall all that stuff's like kind of why i was saying like you can have a bunch of people show up in your channel all of a sudden but there needs to be more yeah right there still needs to be you have to be making content they have to feel either like a connection with you or connection with what you're doing or they're into what you do, what you play, what, what you it? make. What was it we were talking about before? Like if, if someone stops in your stream, I think we were talking about pre-roll ads. And if, if oh, they yeah. gave sucks. us, if they gave us a certain amount of time before they ran that first ad. So like, let's say the first, they get there, they instantly see the content two minutes or three minutes later, they run say, an give, ad. Give me five minutes. What's the big yeah. deal, right? Yeah. Like potentially then it's going to benefit your channel more of course twitch wants that ad revenue for every single click that they click around even mm -hmm. if they're not there for even 10 seconds but uh, i think it would be nice for them to do you, do you think that's why they pre-roll they click my channel right they see an ad for one for 10 seconds they twitch gets that revenue probably mm -hmm. and they go i don't want to wait and then they click you and oh there's another ad they don't want to wait they just clicked five ads i 100 find one streamer 
I 100% uh, think that's why they do it. That 100%. makes me hate it even more. I never even thought about it. So, I mean, because then if you're, if you're like, I want to find new content to watch, you might click on 10 different channels. That's 10 ads that ran. I've, I've been that person that I'm like, oh my God, there's an ad. And I click the next one, the next one, and, the next, and they all have an ad. And then I just go back to the first one. Yep. Yep. So uh, I don't experience that anymore because ever since you posted the link to Twitch Turbo, I was like, yep. Twitch Turbo, let's that's go. That's for me. So for the $9... I so for the $9, obviously I get rid of ads. And, uh, you know, I've actually found that since doing that, I've increased the number of people that I follow a little bit because I see the content first. So me, I'm kind of like an experiment on this subject myself because He's back in the day, pig, yeah. back in the day when I would have to watch a bunch of ads like we were just talking about, I wouldn't go look for new channels because it was irritating to try to find a new channel. It's like, ugh, how many times do I have to see this same exact ad on it's every the same one playing on all of them, yeah. Channel. Ugh. So <sighs> like you wouldn't go around and explore. Now that I don't yeah. have that and I have Twitch Turbo, I actually am more apt to go explore, look for new content, stop in on other on people's streams that you know, because there's some streamers that you want to stop by and say hi, but you like you can't keep four hundred tabs open with every single person that you that you follow running in lurk mode you know you just can't so you know you stop by say hi maybe leave come back later whatever and it's a much better experience now that i do the twitch turbo thing just to get rid of those ads it's awesome and i recommend it to everyone yeah i, I mean you don't have to sub to anybody you can just twitch turbo no please sub no, to everybody no no please sub to everyone uh subbing is different though so instead of, of instead of like i never really subbed to get rid of ads necessarily um, no i didn't but but yeah, uh, I mean, the $9 extra a month, Twitch still does technically get their revenue. So it's on a different tier, though. So when the ad runs before when you're just a generic free user of Twitch, right? When the ad runs, the Twitch gets a certain percentage based on the ad buy, right? But if you pay for Twitch Turbo, technically speaking, like the person is still getting a cut, but it's a much lower cut. So like the streamer. You know how ads support like Tim the Tap Man and whatever, and they make some oh, ad money. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. your mo the streamer actually still gets a cut of the money when you visit because you're a Twitch Turbo user. It's like a it, penny per view, even with yeah. the ads. So it's really it's, not worth it unless it's you're really, huge. But it's really not worth it. But I mean, it makes your experience better for at least, I guess. Yeah. You know. Um. But yeah, That's I find myself exploring a lot more just because there are none. So if they gave Let's say they they were a little stingy and they said, okay, you can watch a minute of the stream, but af after a minute, if you're still there, we're hitting you with an ad. A minute's uh, yeah, enough time for you for to sure. explore at least. Like, you can find out whether or not you're actually going to enjoy the stream within the first minute. Really. Well, or at least you can... The part there, though, is now you might have engaged in conversation and now true. you don't get to hear the answer. That's true. That That is very true. That's another thing that does suck about ads is because... It's not like a YouTube ad where the YouTube video literally pauses, you yeah. see the ad, and then you pick up from where you left off. You could literally Wait a miss. You don't pause when your ads are playing? I always do. <laughs> yeah. Someone's like, oop, an ad. And you're like, hold on, guys. Someone's experiencing an ad right now. <laughs> God, I wonder I wonder if ads are at the same time for everyone or if they're different, like, well, you different figure timings. if they're pre-roll, like, come in and their ad's not when everybody else sees an ad, so. Right, and then, then the timer probably starts at that point for their next ad. So it's probably yeah. just like a rolling, weird cycle of everyone getting ads at different times. That's probably. interesting. Anyway, I think they should get rid of pre-rolls and, and give us a an ad in the beginning, first five minutes or something like that. I think that would be more widely accepted because it would promote exploration a little bit more. I agree. Yeah. And then if they do miss some of the conversation 30 seconds later, whenever the ad's over, they can just They're say, like, oh, you sorry, say? I'm, sorry, I, I missed. Yeah. And, and we as streamers streamer now. Minute, so, hey, if you don't like ads, sub to the channel. You know? <laughs> Did you know you get a free sub with yeah. your Amazon Prime membership? If you have it, link yeah. it here. <laughs> I really could just open, you know, maybe doors to maybe even make Twitch more money. So. We're, we're thinking for Twitch. Let's pretend we we're talking. We're, we're working for Twitch, not ourselves, and maybe they'll listen. Right. Um, this is going to better you as a platform. I promise. 
But uh, anyway, so we were talking about streaming what you want versus what you like. So I wanted to bring up the streamer balance. I've been exper experiencing that at miscellaneous times where it feels different. Um, and there's a couple different angles here. So I want to talk, you know, work, life, gaming, all that. Ha what is your strategy or do you even have a strategy that you consciously pay attention to in order to achieve that Zen streamer balance, you know? So like, yeah, I mean, I guess we hit a lot of this on scheduling, I feel like, but I mean, currently I'm unemployed so that there goes the work. The work is Twitch, I guess. Right. The you work know? is <laughs> for now. Um, but as far as even when I did have a job, it's kind of obviously if your job is set hours, well, that already scheduled itself. Your, your block then, is done yeah, right there. I'm not a morning person, so I'm not doing anything before work. So okay. now it's I'm home from work. I'm cranky if I don't eat, so eat, stream, maybe leave a little time to do something with, you know, life or not, mm -hmm. and then go to bed. And then usually how I work out relationship side, like, is just, hey, what days do you want? Which days am I good to, I don't see you for the whole day, you know, I'm in the house, but I'm streaming and gaming and whatever, are you okay with? We have that conversation and then... I kind of have a somewhat of an idea of my schedule. Right. That makes sense. Okay. So the reason I brought this up is because I was asked by someone and they said, <clears throat> so every single time I play a game, should I just stream? And I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Why would you do that? And oh, like, well, I'm a lot of people say yes. That, that is a very torn. I feel like that's a torn streamer topic. Uh, I'd agree there. You, so I agree. say no. I also say no. I I think that you because for me I grew up with gaming. Gaming is like a a part of my existence. Like I need it. It's my relaxation. It's my thinking. Like whatever, whatever I use it for, it's just a big part of my life. And it, I actually ran into this problem before I took my big break is because I was doing that every single time I played games, I hit go live every time, without fail. And it got to the point where games were no longer my hobby. It was the thing I did while I streamed. And I think being such a big part of my life, I'm like, I need to keep gaming as this thing that I love as well. So like, if I want to play that game, that's not going to get me viewers. doesn't matter. I'm not streaming. I can play whatever the hell I want. You know? Yeah. You I've had a lot times. of like 1 a.m. I'm going to try a random game moments and I'm not going to stream. It's one in the morning. Yeah, I'm tired. I have no energy. I'm not trying to talk to anybody. It's usually a single player game. And I just want to yep. like literally flop back and either hate or love the game. You don't myself. have to you don't have to entertain anyone except for yourself. You can. Yep. Another thing for me is so I play obviously Call of Duty still while I'm off stream. But the difference is, is when I'm playing Call of Duty off stream, I'm listening to like my favorite music. I can't do that on Twitch because DMCA. So I'm, yeah, you know, listen I'm, listening, music, but... I'm listening to my favorites playlists, you know, hanging out with a couple of my friends, squadding up and then, you know, just rocking out some Call of Duty for fun. Whereas, I don't know when, you know, when I even play differently when I'm on stream because my attention's divided when I'm streaming. So like when I'm playing Call of Duty just to play Call of Duty for fun, I play a much better version of Call of Duty than when I'm, you know, paying attention to, oh, yeah. to so, chat and uh, going back and forth. Some of the high-end stuff in games, like, I'll save for off-stream because, I mean, like, raids, for instance, in Destiny, I was going to try to stream, and they're... Uh, I usually, like, lead the raids, and I'm now trying to give instructions to five people, mm -hmm. play well myself, and talk to the guy in chat who, you know, wants to tell me about his day or whatever, and I want to value the guy in chat. I want to yep. not ruin five people's raid experiences. And I don't want to mess up. So now I'm like, and I can't even, it's not possible half the time. Like, I don't know how people do it. They're either just better at the game than me, or they are choosing one to kind of negate, like not pay attention to, right? Like bigger streamers yeah. can more chat. Yeah, because the, the chat will kind of do its own thing. They don't necessarily have to entertain chat. Like small streamers, we're basically the entertainment. Chat may banter back and forth a little bit, but not quite as much as like, a Tim the Tatman stream. A Tim the Tatman stream, the chat is literally chatting with each other. He's in the bathroom for 15 minutes and the <coughs> chat doesn't stop. Yeah, like it's, just... still, it's still just keeps rolling, Whatever. you know? 
Um, yeah, Karma and, and Karma comes around. He said uh, he used to do the. I'm assuming stream whenever he went live. Mm -hmm. He needed to find a balance. Uh, saying you know, maybe if you take it less seriously, you you can. If you're just gonna do this as a hobby and or or you don't really care if you grow, you could go live every time you're gaming. If if that's if you like doing that, right? Yeah. Okay. I I think if you're gonna take it seriously. It's important to to structure somewhat especially if you actually like gaming as a like you said a relaxation or something because as much as my stream i enjoy streaming and i have a lot of fun and it's a good part of my day like it's still important to me to like sometimes i just play catch up with friends on games and like yeah. i don't want to ask them how's your baby how's your yeah wife? you don't want to talk this? about like personal stuff, stuff. <laughs> yeah and well because no like... one else in the chat, really like you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i agree with that I mean, it might be personal. No one else should even know. Right, right. And I even oh. make that mistake sometimes, or like someone on the stream will make the mistake of like talking about something that's a little bit more personal. And then you're like, oh, yeah, but I'm on stream. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> and that that creates a weird moment where everyone in the chat's like, wait a minute, I want to know that. Because, <laughs> yeah, you know, lately, they, um, they want to know about I've your been personal life. As you know, I've been taking streaming more and more seriously, like almost mm -hmm. every day. And uh, I, I put, I used to not have a deaf and hotkey or anything. I have one. It's my page down on my keyboard. Mm -hmm. and it's pretty easy. To, I mean, it's, I don't have number pad, so it's literally the, the closest to the edge of my keyboard. Yep. So I'm gaming. Oh, they're talking about some stuff I don't want to hear. Click and and I continue talk. Or or it's just noisy. There's six of us playing Crucible or whatever. And yeah, uh, I yeah. Wanna, sure. My chat can hear me, and it doesn't sound chaotic. Um, That's so I an use important it a lot. Button. I've been using it a lot. Nice. I just I have it on I the, feel bad. the stream deck over there too, because that's Cause that's an important button. Yeah, you like neglect your friends a little that are playing yeah. with you, but yeah, because so you're playing you with your like your best buddies in the game, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you you undeafen or what is that unde is that the right yeah. term yeah. undeafen? Okay, so you undeafen and. Unmute. In, in, and Definitely you hear them different. going like, hey, Darth, Darth, hello, can you hear us? And you're like, oh, sorry, I had to mute you guys because I was talking to chat. And they're like, oh. And like, you so can feel you, it deflate. It's funny you say that thing. <laughs> like, uh, I think most of my friends now have started to realize. They you're about to mention Tom over and, and Postal. No, not, not I could mention Tom. <laughs> he wouldn't even care. But I think most of them glance over now and, and know. Okay. Clearly, I'm streaming. They kind of talk amongst themselves or whatever. Um or whatever you know it is yeah. what it is they talk to each other and then but i do feel bad still but yeah i mean <laughs> so i deafen <laughs> i've been doing it a lot lately and i'm talking to chat and tom's in the vc with me with the four other people and he answers me talking to my stream with his oh. voice in the vc <laughs> and okay I, and sometimes i'll deafen and not uh, like no i'll mute and not deafen okay oh, no no yeah 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 so i'll hear him in the discord be like I didn't know that. And I have to unmute and be like, Tom, I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know like, he's watching the stream too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll like answer me. But then I feel bad because some of the sometimes I'm playing with other people streaming. Like mm -hmm. like Anne who rated us. She's playing with us a lot. She's yeah, in yeah, chat yeah. still. But uh, you know, she'll be streaming and now Tom's just <laughs> yelling nonsense about <laughs> me. Like, and she... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I, I've had been thinking lately, especially as I take things more and more seriously, I wonder, I'm, I'm a little worried about it, that there's going to come a time where you have to start picking who you play with when, right? Like, yeah, um, there so are people I who don't understand content. They're just your gaming friends and that's okay. But, you know, they're not going to focus on making sure you're entertaining. They're just going to chit chat. So... If the people that I'm talking about are here, I'm sorry, but there's a couple people that I play with that have a lot of background noise, like house noise yeah, and just that stuff. Too. That too. Dogs, and I'm just babies. like, and I'm just like, I, like, I have to deafen so often that I'm like, I don't know, like, this is we're gonna have to do off stream or something like that because it's just too yeah. much in the background where it's like distracting. I've even had chat go like, why is there a kid in the background? And I'm like, oh, it's. If it's once person. in a blue moon, you can all laugh about it, right? Like it's right. you could make content out of the the funny screaming or whatever it is, right? Like you and can you can work with so, it. But if it's every stream, you're like, 
All right, and listen, I have, you either have to mute or I'm deafening the whole stream. Like, So I have two different people. One of the person, one of the people that actually probably is here, he actually mutes. Like, if it gets loud, instant mute, goes away. The other yeah. person, like, never does. Never, ever. So it doesn't matter what's happening. There could be a tornado rolling through his house, and all we hear is that, and he doesn't even care. He's just like, whatever, <laughs> keep on rolling. <laughs> I've been there, though, especially back on the PlayStation days. When oh, we used yeah. to play Destiny on PlayStation. You know, nobody had fancy mics. We all had our headsets. You can literally hear everything in like a whole house with those things for some reason. Or like uh, when they gave, they released the PlayStation camera that had the mic in it and like oh, people no, didn't even no. have a clue that it was on. If people so, use the Apple headphones too, they'd make the buzzing noise. <laughs> the you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so okay. Many so bad things. here's an interesting thing. The new PS5 has a microphone in the controller. It's even worse, probably. So we're going to get the same thing again, where people are just like, like... Well, now you'll even hear it kind of like when people have the loud keyboards. You're going to hear them you're here clacking all their... Yeah. Like... yeah. <laughs> it's going to come yeah. back. Oh, no, we're going uh, backwards in gaming. I'm not on console now, so, you know, I don't have to worry about that. But it, um, <laughs> yeah, I just like I was saying, it's just, I think the more you start to care about content, it's why, you know... It's probably not the only reason, but Tim's and all the people who care about their content, they're not playing with everyone under the sun because, you know, they play with the yeah. bigger names because they know the bigger names understand content. They've made it there. They can yeah. mute, they can deafen, they can all just chit chat, but it makes sure it's it's funny or entertaining yeah. to be there. Yeah. Um, um, it's harder as a smaller person because you have a lot of, you know, you just have friends that you want to play with, but yeah. You either have and to have the conversation with them or deafen, basically. So I have an interesting thing that you're probably not experiencing. Um, over time, I'm actually starting to enjoy streaming just chatting more than I like streaming gaming. My yeah, just I chatting portions, that. my just chatting portions have become more interesting for me, let alone my chat, than my gaming stuff. So there's a weird transition happening where I'm like, I still want to game on stream, but I kind of want to do more of just chatting and like teaching people OBS stuff. You know, it's it's really weird. What's yeah, you've going been doing on. video editing a lot too. Yeah, I've I've started to bring that back into the channel a little bit. Um, I've I noticed when I was doing it the other day that I, I go way too fast. I was like, oh, you just do this, and then there you go, you're good. <laughs> like, and then I watched it back and went, yeah, no one understood what I just did. <laughs> Not even one person. Because it's also teeny on the screen, you know, like. Well, it depends uh, what kind of what kind of mood you want to go, right? So you can go teaching video editing and that's that would be slowed down. Or you can go, you're just chatting, but I'm doing yeah, something. Like, kind of like, like art streams, like digital art streamers. They they draw their they, art and they don't tell you I'm drawing a circle. They They just talk about just chatting stuff and then. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. I should, I should explore that a little bit. Maybe if they I get on, someone's like, clips music, to, you know? maybe if I get someone's clips to put together a channel trailer, then we can explore that little uh, idea. I actually might might throw that <laughs> together tonight if I have time. Cool, cool. I'm supposed to make yours. Come on. I thought I was replaced. So a video editor came in your chat the other day and was like, "I'll edit videos." I'm like, "Oh, I'm out." <laughs> Uh, replaced. Like, yeah, somebody was in my chat saying they could do anything I needed. I was like, all right, sweet, you're making all my videos. And Darth was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Funny. No. Uh, well, I'll let's send uh, them over. So we mentioned the PS5, um, and I only want to talk about this because I'm kind of angry about it. So there was an email that went out today for PS5 pre-orders, right? There's going to be yeah, so an ex best. there's going to be an extremely limited supply of PlayStation 5s. So much so that they're taking reservation signups so that you can get onto a list that where you might get an invite to pre-order it. So, I have a few things about this. One, they're always limited, right? I mean, there's been no console yeah. that you could just buy day 2 basically. Day 1 they're gone. Yeah. At least um, I feel like that's the case. <clears throat> I, I guess the only the only one I remember searching for, well, the PS2, I waited in line at Circuit City. Yeah, Circuit City, great. Um, the what? Wii, I, I went all over the place for the Wii. I waited multiple times. I got up at like 3 in the morning to go wait in this stupid line outside of Target or CompUSA or wherever I could go. Look at that, bringing out two old school 
electronic stores. Circuit City and Comp USA come out. Um, P and then Coming after that, age. after that, I was I just started pre-ordering everything like the moment that yeah. you could. So I was yeah, always kind of guaranteed. Now you can typically pre-order and kind of be guaranteed most systems, but but, but still, like I this... said, they've always been limited, and this sounds even more limited. But like, part of me feels like this is a marketing marketing strategy. You think? Really, I mean, I know, I know COVID's going on, right? And I know things are in in Especially short supply, right? Coming overseas yeah. like that and, and chips yeah. and all that stuff. So right? I'm not going to say it's not truth, but I don't know. Are that my, I, I guess maybe because I'm out of the console game, but this just seems like... You know, I, I could see where you're coming from on that, where it's like a marketing ploy, but you know what would be the ultimate hype generator? Telling us the price and when it's coming out. <laughs> You know how much hype that so, would generate? So they want you to reserve your, your PlayStation at an unknown price. Right. They're like, we're not going to tell you when and how much, but sign up to reserve your your PlayStation 5 right now. Like, wait a minute. Hold on. Reserved. You're doing this in a weird order now. Come on. Give us... You're reserved. Yeah. Tell no. us the truth. No, I'm not buying... I'm actually... I'm not buying a PlayStation 5. This is going to be the first PlayStation that I didn't buy on release I don't wow. think I got the PS1 on release, but, but okay. that was a long time yeah, ago. That was when I was like a kid, so my dad didn't pre-order things like that back in those days. But like, yeah, I'm not buying a PS5 at all. Um, no plans to get one, nothing, because uh, I don't even touch my PS4 now. It sits right there. I see it all yeah, the time. Same. Yeah, so for anyone in chat who really wants a PS5, you make, sure go to... you, uh, make sure you pre-order. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be another Wii situation where everyone's standing in lines. Or, <clears throat> you know what's going to happen? People are going to get them, and then they're going to go on eBay for $2,000. That's going to be a scalping. Yeah, it's always scalping. Yeah, so, ew. That Maybe sucks. I should buy one. I could use some money. No, I don't I don't really like the scalping crap. Like, I'm not about it, so I I don't do like that. it because... I don't even like it when it comes to ticket sales for, like, concerts or baseball games or things no. like that. I, I hate that. When when you... Unless you get it on, on the day that, you know, you're able to purchase it, you're paying three times, four times the price for it. I, I hate that. It's like gatekeeping. It sucks. Yeah. But I mean, we can never stop it, I guess. Unfortunately. Wow. I mean, right now they're they're selling iPhones with Fortnite on it for a lot more money than they're worth just because there's a broke ass Fortnite on the damn thing. It's kind That's of right, weird. yeah. That's still so dumb. <laughs> but yeah, you so, mentioned uh what, um, what we say, what say it was called o opening night live yeah uh, i keep that's, that's messing that up too i see onl and i want to think like one night last or i don't know it's like <laughs> weird like i don't know what's going on with my mind there yeah, yeah onl um, gamescom it's, basically it's gamescom but yep. that's gonna be tomorrow at uh 2 p.m our time i know destiny's on the list so i'll be excited cod's on the list you're excited COD's on the list so the image um, that we have we got 2K, Activision, Bandai, Namco, Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, Deep Silver. I don't know who that is. Devolver, EA, EA yeah. uh, Frontier, Focus Home, Gearbox, Head Up Games, PlayStation, Warner Bros. Games, Xbox Games Studios, and more. I of believe uh, Fall Guys <coughs> Season 2 will be announced in that. Yep. Uh, I know for a fact we're seeing more Call of Duty stuff. It's probably going to be more campaign stuff since the Worldwide reveal is on September 9th. That'll be... Okay kind of cool um we'll probably see avengers in there we'll see more stuff about the the was it gotham knights the new uh the new arkham I'm, game. i haven't been following anything I need dc to... fandom happened in us uh, we got actually some pretty cool stuff so they're making a suicide squad game which is suicide yeah. squad kills superman and then they're they're doing the gotham knights game which is basically a four person co-op version of Ar batman arkham so you're in Gotham okay. City, but there is no Batman. So you have Batgirl, Robin, Red Hood, and Nightwing, and you can play. I know, right? Not a uh, DC buff. Well, <clears throat> Ra or wait, is it Robin? Because Red Hood is technically. Anyway, no spoilers. <laughs> but it's gonna be a good game. I don't think I'll play it. I'll be honest, um, because I play the Batman universe for Batman. I like Batman. I did, I never really liked the secondary characters like Batgirl and Robin and things like that. I was never really a big fan. Batman was always the one. So I probably won't play it. I mean, you, all the content's Batman and then yeah, you, maybe I, the villain. On, at least is my, in my knowledge, you know, like 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> so obviously, it was just like a teaser kind of a thing, and it, we don't have a lot of info. We'll get more info tomorrow. It looks like. Um, I probably won't get that. I'm not stoked about Avengers. Uh, I just want Fall Guys two to have uh, season two to have, you know, open custom, lobbies for custom your servers or custom servers or whatever. So Darth will buy it and play with us. <laughs> I uh did, I would if there was the fallen custom, one, which one? The what? fallen one? Oh yeah, this is the thing you posted, and I was like, "What the hell are you talking about? I don't even know what that is." Channel topics we want to talk about, and I just write the fallen one. He goes, "What's the fallen one?" I was like, "I'll tell you later." <laughs> well, let's hear it. I, I fall guys on purpose. The fallen one. I, th I I this is a marketing move. It could still be true. Um, I'm a little torn on it. So, you know, Tim, Tim the Tatman, had, what, 350,000 people watch him get his first win in Fall Guys? Um, so that whole hype's over, right? I mean, Tim's still doing well even when he plays Fall Guys, but he doesn't get over, like, I don't know, let's say 100,000 playing Fall Guys anymore. No, that, that got that, crazy. He, like, yeah. The, am the amount of viewers he had was insane just because of that Fall Guys fiasco, right. I guess I would say. So it's normalized. Fall Guys needs the next thing to be, you know, getting people's attention. And they they said, who's the fallen one? They said this on Twitter. They said, whoever is statistically the best in game. They didn't, they don't, they said, we don't even know who it is. Okay. We've just had the code say whoever the best statistically using whatever math. Get Saturday's skin for free. It's already in their inventory. Nobody else can have the skin right now. And it was like on, I don't know, Thursday or something. Okay. Huh. Who do you think it was? <laughs> this is why I said I think it was marketing. Dr. Uh, Lupo. Oh, it was Lupo? Really? It was Dr. Lupo. Now, <laughs> I think a little bit of marketing, maybe they might have lied, but I'm not sure because he had like 52 wins at this point. I think it was. Damn. That's okay. a lot of wins in Fall Guys. I think he's at like that 70 something man. now. How many? So do he you really have? might be. I have two. You but too. I also don't play 10 hours a day. <laughs> um, have we checked in on Mr. Luke Diamond? Has he gotten a win yet? <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> no wins for Luke Diamond. But yeah, so they gave him the Fallen 1 skin. It was uh, it was one of the two robots from Portal. Okay. Okay. And then Saturday, cool. the Saturday that already passed, it was in the store for three five crowns five crowns for the top five crowns for the legs so 10 crowns total oh wait so you since i haven't played fall guys so you get wins and that's like the currency okay so yeah there's two currencies um there's kudos which you just get passively by playing based on how well you you do you get more kudos right they're purple mm -hmm. coins basically okay. better you do each game the more kudos you get for the game then there's crowns crowns you literally can only get from winning you yeah, get one crown you grab per win. the crown at the very end. I guess I'm right? lying a little bit. You get four in the battle pass if you hit level. Four. There's one every like 10 levels and it goes oh, okay. to 40. So okay. you can get four crowns if you finish the battle pass. And that's it. You're you're capped out for the season unless you win. Um, so I think I have like, I think I have four crowns right now. Two from winning, two from the battle pass. Two from the, yeah. Uh, kudos, I, I, I don't know. I've probably racked up 20,000 or whatever. Um, maybe more. You can buy kudos for real money. Fair That's the currency. Yeah. But you cannot buy crowns. Crowns are... Crowns are... You get four, bragging and after that, and... start winning. Yeah, okay. That's it. Or start hacking, because there's a lot of hackers right now. But I would, I would definitely buy Fall Guys if custom servers became a thing, because then you could do community game nights, and that would just be awesome. That would be an amazing tournies, time. Like Tournaments. Mini tourneys, like mini tourneys, you know? Yeah. Whatever. Or, you know what I would even go for? Even if they just increase the number of people in a party. So if they, like, let's say they gave you 12 people in a party and allowed that. Well, here's the thing, right? I kind of understand they did four because if your three friends throw so that you can win, okay. you still have to beat, you know, 56 people. It's 60 people. So if you can bring in 12 people... All 12 of you can try to make it to the end and then go, hey, little Sally over here never got a win, and 11 of you jump off the map. Oh, right? yeah. I guess that's because you could, yeah, you could change the outcome of a game significantly. Obviously, you still have to do well, but in some of them, it could still just happen. But yeah. you have a much bigger chance of essentially, I mean, you could make 11 fake accounts and I don't know, 
have 11 of them die at the beginning of every match and you win now at least 11 less people you have to deal with right i guess that's true that's interesting hmm. so i think there's a reason they did it i think they're gonna have to do full-blown custom lobbies and no just you and just that collection you don't get of crowns if you win you know you don't get you maybe you get kudos but it's like so small it's not worth it yeah ba basically none. it's like it's like call of duty custom servers you can play custom Fortnite, servers and literally literally everything's Destiny. unlocked and yeah. nothing matters all I, most games do that destiny like i said destiny fortnite they all have custom stuff you get no reward you play for fun you play with your friends yeah. that's think, the that's what you get as a reward have they talked about custom servers for that game at all i think they mentioned it when it first came out because that was a big question and then yeah maybe we'll find out tomorrow like they said okay. i mean they they did say they'd be part of this thing so i think that, that that's would, what i'm hoping that would push me over the edge for sure um and then another thing that would push me over the edge is full cross play so release it on xbox put it on switch cross play all all around that's not the type of game that cross play wouldn't like matter really you know interestingly enough yeah yeah i don't know why there's not cross play with playstation and then like if you put it on switch I, we talked about this before where like you have the tabletop mode and then you have your joy cons and then you know like mario kart you can connect switches together in tabletop mode and all sit with your own switch that's like, true. that would be that would be a cool little situation for a little party up but yeah for sure what they do but uh you know i technically I even do have started fall adding guys. wait have fall guys technically oh i'm play on playstation yeah <laughs> my playstation's gonna... not plugged in or anything but i did i did collect upon my free ps plus game i didn't even uh i don't have ps plus anymore so i can't uh, go okay. play there yep okay yeah, my kids still but, uh, play over there, so. But. Yeah, I've actually debated picking up PS Plus just so I could get the free that free game because I, I just mean, like the one month. <laughs> yeah, just you know whatever, because I know that's a cool game to play with your friends, and like you said, like you have it. Maybe some other of my friends have it randomly. Yeah, I mean, and anyone who has a PlayStation, if you haven't picked it up yet, I believe it's it's still the same month, right? Probably till yeah, it's probably till like usually it's a couple days into the next month. You're good. Yeah, so if, if you do have PS Plus out there, any listeners, go grab Fall Guys before it goes away because you also get Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remastered as well. So that's nice. kind of a cool game too. That was one yeah. of the better ca campaigns out there in Call of Duty. So, so stream what you want or stream what gets you views. <laughs> 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 just full blown circle no there but. we go bringing it all back uh well we're right right about that hour and a half mark so let's uh start shutting down the stream but uh you know we like i mentioned in the beginning we do have an insta account now and we do have a facebook insta, account so facebook, if you Twitter. go to ggweeklypodcast.com that actually takes you to like a link dumping ground right now so you can subscribe on that uh, from there on any of the podcast services that we're on you can also follow us on socials but uh, it's GG Weekly at GG Weekly oh, Podcast. It's the wrong word. So it, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't click on don't that one. I don't know where that'll go. But uh, GG Weekly Podcast dot com, and then all of the all of the socials are the same. We will be live again next Wednesday at eight p.m. Oh US God. East. Um, we <laughs> just don't <laughs> don't click anything I, I type in chat, okay, guys? <laughs> There's three E's in my weekly There's now. There's three E's in weekly. Noodles is, is typing at pro right, levels. But uh, yeah, follow us on all our socials. We'll be back next week. We are looking for a new guest. We have a couple prospects out there right now for our, our next um, in-person guest. So when are you streaming next there, Noodles? Yeah, so I'll be gone till Saturday, basically. So unless we randomly do an IRL um my okay. next stream will probably be monday okay and you know what i'll be playing because i stream what i like it's uh destiny and there you go. i think there's a uh, importance in playing one game and building a community around it so i'd agree i'm with trying you. it um in that context i actually i've built a little bit of a community just because of squatting up in call of duty so people want to exactly. squat up and you know hang out that way i will be live on friday evening so I will make it this time because we've got nothing going on this weekend. So um, I'll be live Friday and then Sunday. Hopefully I will be winning a C2 Creator Crew Call of Duty tournament as long as we get signups. We do need signups, guys, out there. So if you have a partner or if, even if you don't have a partner, I can probably pick up a partner for you. We, we have, have a couple one people. solo who wants to play. So. so if you want to play in the C2 Creator Crew's 
Call of Duty tournament, you could just go to discord.creatorcrew.org and then that'll pop you into the Discord server and we'll get you all the information in there. But I'm hoping to be able to play that on Sunday. So, any last words? No, I think that's all. Uh, Like I said, I'll be out for a while, but I'll still be on Twitter. You know where to find me. Baggy Noodle Arms on Twitter. Sounds good. And then uh, stick around, everyone who is watching live now. We are going to find someone to raid, but we will see you next Wednesday, 8 p.m. U.S. East. Good night, guys.